Hey everyone, um, today's video um, we will introduce enthalpy, look at ideal gases and the ideal gas law, define specific heat capacity which is denoted by Cv, and the specific heat capacity at constant pressure, Cp, and observe how they relate to ideal gases. So we start off with enthalpy. The enthalpy is actually a rather difficult term to define, but if you had to define it in a way, it would be the total energy of a thermodynamic system, including both the internal energy and the thermodynamic potential energy of the said system. So now, if we refer back to the internal energy definition that we had, it was somewhat similar to this, except that the internal energy, it does not include this potential. This potential, uh, added on to the internal energy is essentially what the uh, enthalpy is. So this is um, quantified by the equation H is equal to U plus PV, where the U is the internal energy, of course, and the PV is somewhat, somewhat the thermodynamic potential of this system. So the things to know about the enthalpy is that it is an extensive property. It is uh, measured in joules, and it is measured in joules or kilojoules, and of course, if it, in its intensive state, it's going to be lower case H and it is in joules per kilogram, or more commonly going to be in kilojoules per kilogram. So now, moving on to ideal gases. Ideal gases, we will not be spending much time on the theory of them. That is uh, something left for the physicists. However, an ideal gas is a theoretical gas. And for the purposes of these videos of, in, relating to thermodynamics, all the gases are assumed to be ideal. So that is our air, oxygen, nitrogen, argon, you name it. It is, however, you must, um, we must note that it, it is not the same as vapor. Vapor is uh, referred to for water and is referred to for refrigerants and uh, um, other pure substances. So with ideal gases, there is a law that relates um, the ideal gases uh, p pressure, volume, and temperature, and that is that PV is equal to RT. So we have our P here is just going to be the pressure, which is going to be in kilopascals, commonly. Uh, v here is going to be the uh, specific volume. And so since this um, specific volume is going to be not in meters cubed, but in meters cubed per kilogram, the R constant here is, R, the R value here is actually a constant. It's called the gas constant um, for each, uh, since it is a different value for different ideal gases. And finally, we have the temperature over here, which is uh, going to be in our uh, Kelvin. So, naturally, if we aren't working with our specific volume and whatnot, then the equation will be uh, just PV, uh, with a capital V instead of the lowercase v in this case, is equal to the M, so the mass, times by the RT. So what is this, uh, this gas constant R? The gas constant R differs from the ideal gas to ideal gas, and it is quantified by this uh, relation over here where R is equal to the R bar on M. R bar is a universal gas constant, and so this is known to, for, um, f to be 8.314 kilojoules per kilomole Kelvin. And M is the molecular mass in kilograms per kilomole. So that is, for example, uh, related to um, the atomic masses, um, in which case you will need a periodic table in order to determine the molecular mass. Uh, generally, however, it will be given to you in our thermodynamics. So we move on now to Cp and Cv. Cv is uh, referred to as the specific heat capacity. It is defined as the energy required to increase the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one Kelvin, or one degree Celsius, since one Kelvin is equivalent to a degree Celsius. And so intensive uh, property is only va um, is and it is only valid it is only valid for ideal gases. So using this uh, definition, we can make we can come up with a mathematical uh, equation for it. That is, namely, that du d um, the differential of internal energy on the differential of temperature is equal to this constant C V. And so, therefore, if we do the uh, simple calculus, and for and um, putting it for a process one two, so therefore being able to make the integrals are uh, definite, 
we can find that u2 minus u1 is equal to cv t2 minus t1. And so if you're working in, um, if you aren't working in specifics, it will be capital U2 minus capital U1. It's going to equal to the M times by CV T2 minus T1. And as you will notice here, U2 minus U1 is actually the change in uh, internal energy from process 1, 2. As uh, process at state 2, it's the final, and at state 1, it's the initial. So the change in U1, 2 is going to equal to U2 minus U1. So this equation right here is uh, valid for idle gases only, and it is a key crucial equation, especially uh, when we are analyzing the first law as uh, of thermodynamics. Because as you can, as you recall from the first law of thermodynamics for closed systems, Q minus W is equal to delta U12, and so now we have a value or a quantity or uh, uh, equation for uh, delta U12. So having looked at CV, we look at CP. CP is slightly different. It is called the specific heat capacity at a constant pressure. And it is uh, defined as the energy required to increase the temperature of one kilogram of substance by one Kelvin. And the key caveat here is when a constant pressure is maintained. It is also an intensive property and is only valid for ideal gases. So as such, it is um, going to be uh, defined as the dH uh, on dt, or uh, the dH on the dt, which is uh, the differential in enthalpy on the differential of uh, temperature, is going to equal to Cp. And so therefore, uh, dH is equal to Cp dt. And in a similar fashion as we did for U2 minus U1, we find that H2 minus H1 is equal to Cp T2 minus T1. This is going to be crucial uh, going forward in the um, course. However, this, uh, this is only valid for idle gases, and hence this uh, relation over here we will find later to be crucial, especially for constant pressure cases, as per the, as, uh, as per the definition of CP here. And finally, we look at the isentropic index, which is uh, denoted by the um, letter K. The isentropic index is defined as the CP on the CV. So it is a constant ratio and it dif differs from gas to gas as CP and CV also differ from uh, gas to gas. And this uh, CP and CV are also related to the gas constant of an ideal gas by this equation here, R is equal to CP minus CV. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.